and the green flag is in the air. We're underway. Six laps of distance here tonight for your Robert Horn, or for the Bombers here tonight. As Aaron Collard, the man out front in the 8UD, taking back over the wheel from Matt Guy, who had a great run last night in that car. Then 72 with Jace Canoople off turn number four. Will be Collier leading lap number one, followed by Canoople. Then they're side by side behind him. John Gehrig around the outside of Jaden Pope. So does everybody else as Jaden Pope's having issues in that number 17. Jaden Popes gets down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Looks like he will probably hit the infield area. I know he's going to keep it on the racetrack as the field continues on. It's led by Collier here, leading lap number two, then Canoople in second. John Gary is third, fourth is strike with Hommel in the 77 right now in fifth. They got Shane Heisen back there in six as Jaden Post does take his car off the racetrack. His heat race is done. Hope to see him back out on the track later on for the, tonight's main event. Of course, tonight's programming will be bombers, sport mods, stock cars, modifieds, and late models. And that's how they'll run not only the heat races, but also the main events here tonight. As top two, they have checked out on a good three-car battle. It's brewing right now in turn number three. It's John Gary up top in the white number 87. Jacob Strike in the blue 13. And Hommel in the 77. Here, Hommel out of Mesa, Arizona. Wasn't with us last night. Does return back, though, to the banks here at Santan Ford's Arizona Speedway. Here for night number two of the John Morris Classic. Has the white flag flies for Aaron Collier. He has checked out on the field. And Carr leads the field off a of turn number three. One final time. As he is out to a 2.6 second advantage. And he will take the checkered flag in this first six lap heat race of the night. Got it done by three seconds over Chase Canupo. And that's how he's going to run all night. The rest of the field has going to have some issues. Good battle for third there late. John Gary, though, does take home third over the 13 of Jacob Strike. All right, the field on the back straightaway, looking for the green flag out the chute, and it is in the air. We're underway. Heat race number two. And you see Jacob Mavitt wasting no time. will sneak down to the inside of the 27 of Cameron Mavitt as Brandon Barney did not make the call here in this heat race. See his car right now in the infield with the uh, truck up. So not sure what's going on there, but Cowboy looking it over as Trenton Sedlin will come off a of turn number four. He'll lead to lap number one, then number three wide behind with Jacob Mavitt in the 28, the 1776 of James Guy on Cameron Mavitt for a brief moment there in the 27M. W. Webito, he'll look to the outside of Cameron Mavitt now, try to clear him for that four spot. He'll do that. Don Burner going to follow suit. Now Burner goes to the top side of Webito as they battle side by side for fourth. Libito, though, looking pretty stout here on that bottom line. He got to the inside of James Guile, who blow, might be blowing up right there in the 1776. Don Burner might have hit something. He goes around, see if he gets the car refired. I don't know if there's any oil laying down from the 1776 of Guile or not, but Don Burner spins it around. He does get refired, backs it up. Now he's going to set sail once again, kind of in the slot down there. At the bottom side, turns one and two is James Guile. He's going to look to the inside of Trenton Settle, and that's about a four second. So James Guile smoking severely down the straightaways a little bit in the corners. You see that smoke just start pouring out right in front of Toby Wibito. He's trying to get to the outside of him. And it looks like Don Burner, knowing he's going to finish last in this heat race, he's just going to pull off the racetrack. So Jacob Mabbitt, your race leader by three seconds over Trenton Settle and Toby Wibito. Now he's going to try to change that running order. He looks to the inside of Settlin. James Gall continues to blow smoke out his rear end as the white flag flies for Jacob Mabbitt. It's Mabbitt, Settlin, Wibito, Guile, and Cameron Mabbitt. Those four cars, but no, it's pretty good racing right now. James Guile, even with the smoke pouring out, still looking pretty stout as Jacob Mabbitt, he'll lead the field off a of turn four, picking, starting where he left off last night. That was with a win. He'll have to start in the back of the night's main event from winning last night as Trenton Sellin trying to keep second place. He will over Toby Wibito, James Guile, and Cameron Mabbitt. In the 32A, 
Rounds out your field of seven. Final heat race for the Bombers. Green flags in the air. We're underway. And Jim Hawk he is locked and loaded. Jumping out to the early advantage over the seven machine of Rick Hughes as Randy Booth right now. The parachute came out of that race car. He is going backwards as both Hughes, Krajak, Olivet sneak by him. Jerry Nicola in the next one in line. Randy Booth had some issues last night. Spent out a couple times in the main event. As Jim Hawk will lead lap number one, followed by Hughes and Krajak. That's Olivet in that four spot. Nicola and Caden Brigner now trying to work over the number three machine of Randy Booth. That's about a four fifth on the racetrack as Jerry Nicola thought about going the outside, kind of Got on the binders a little bit. That allowed Caden Brigner to make this a three-car battle now for fifth. Right now, it's Booth and Nicola side-by-side side for that spot, heading into turn number one. But here comes Caden Brigner, the youngster. He's going to follow Randy Booth. Might not have been the smartest choice there as Jager Nicola looked at the outside. Now Caden Brigner's going to drop down the inside, try to make it three wide, thought about it going into turn number three, then thought twice about it. Now he will go down to the inside of Randy Booth. That's Nicola on the outside getting it done, taking over that fifth spot, and Caden Brigner had to get on the binders there a little bit to avoid making contact with the three of Booth. Out front, no change. Jim Hawk, he is out by almost a second over the seven of Rick Hughes. But Ross Krajak, he is breathing all over the back bumper of that seven machine of Hughes. Almost gave him a little shot in the backside there off of turn number two. Thought twice about those. Rick Hughes will drive away now from that 16B of Krajak as we'll look for the white flag this time by for Jim Hawk in the 16. These bomber drivers using that middle groove right now, kind of pushing the cushion up a little bit here. Tonight's a racing action, and right now Jim Hawk out front. By one second over Hughes. That's about a car link back to Krajak, who got a little higher on the racetrack that time, off of turn number two down the back chute. That's Hawk, he'll bring it off of turn number four. He'll win. Heat race number three, Krajak. Trying to get all the goody out of it. Doesn't have anything for Hughes. He'll come home in second. Krajak in third. Fourth, Alavette. And in fifth, Jared Nicola. Well, take it over Caden Brigner. <laughs> 